And when we call on you, uh, please state your name and media outlet so that coaches know who they're speaking with. So we'll begin with Coach Alonzo, just to speak about the importance of the match for St. Louis uh, overall as a city and for, uh, for the team themselves. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for, for coming to this press conference. For sure, on behalf of uh, Bayern 4, uh, for us, it's, we are delighted to, to be here for so many reasons. I think that it's a great opportunity for us to, to come here and, and create this link with, with the city, with, with this uh, club that uh, is starting the, the next season in the MLS. For many reasons, uh, we have strongly with, with St. Louis. Yesterday, we were in the Bayern company, and we are proud to we, ha we were so proud to feel the, the support from from the from the fan base that we have here, and tomorrow is special because not every day you have the chance to, to play the first game of of a new stadium, and and once you have that opportunity, it's it's a game that it's remembered for for everyone and for a long time. For sure, uh, we are trying to compete well to do a good game and and wish. The best of luck to, to San Luis for the coming season in the MLS, and we'll be following them and supporting them from, from distance. Thanks, Coach. We'll go to Coach Ackworth. So for us, uh, there's a lot of things at play here. Uh, first and foremost, it's great to be with you, and we welcome you to our city, um, and you know, consider you a legend of the game, and this first game here in this stadium is going to be legendary. It's very special to our club, our community, uh, in every way, and I, I think it's going to be a celebration. So to have an opponent like yourself uh, is really special for us, and I think we should all just try to enjoy this as much as possible while two teams try to battle it out on the field. So uh, it's a little bit of a kickoff for the World Cup, too. I'm sure we'll be watching that. Uh, but it should be a fantastic day for uh, our fans and everybody involved in the city and club to really celebrate an, an amazing soccer experience. Thanks, coaches. Welcome to Florida Questions. Uh, first one will go to Tom Timmerman. Tom Timmerman from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Uh, Jolly, just how, how, how do you like the building, the stadium, the facilities? What's been your impression of what you've seen here? Really impressed. I think that the size of the stadium is like a proper football stadium. That's what you want, uh, where, where you feel that there can be good atmosphere, that not too big, but not too small, where it's a, a proper uh, football atmosphere. I'm sure that I, I, I know that there were so many requests for t uh, season ticket holders that tomorrow is going to be sold out. So it's it's uh, great. Yesterday we had the chance to train in the, in the facilities, today on the training ground. So yeah, uh, in that, in that uh, side, I think that top-notch uh, facilities for, for the club. And I'm really happy to be here. Uh, Corey Miller, KSDK. Coach Hackworth, just what are you expecting in terms, I know you might not have exact numbers or anything, just attendment, attendance, atmosphere tomorrow. Have you kind of thought about what it's going to be like yet? I mean, we, as a coach, you always, look, we're playing Leverkusen, so <laughs> we have a lot of work to do to get pre prepared for that. Uh, but it's not lost on us that this is pretty amazing, and it should be I mentioned a celebration for our fans um, and for our, I mean, our ownership group who have invested so much time and energy uh, into putting this building and the final pieces together. Um, huge credit to them for sticking to the details. Um, when you look, you know, I just walked in and saw our, our, I think that's our secondary badge on the wall. Like that's incredible, you know. Um, that screen out there is amazing. All these little things, uh, we're just really, proud to be a part of it and, and we hope that uh, everybody whether they're in the building tomorrow or I think we'll have a great you know viewership on ESPN plus too I don't know that there's a anything else bigger than this at least not mm -hmm. in our world so uh, it should be pretty interesting a lot of people will get to see this firsthand and enjoy it uh, I'm really curious, you came in at a really turbulent time for Bayer Leverkusen. Um, it seems like in recent weeks you really steadied the ship, results have gone your way. How important is now this trip to the US? I mean, I know some players are away with the World Cup, but you sort of really established your kind of playing philosophy. Yeah, uh, as you've said, we, we have just been here for, 
few few weeks, but uh, they have been very intense few weeks. And from the beginning, we, we wanted to improve, and that improvement had had to come from how we'll be able to to create team spirit, to create an idea, and and for sure, the last week was great because we had a, a three three wins in a row were important, but as well to to share experiences, to to hang out, to to create this kind of relationship. It's, for me, it's very important in, in the moment that we are right now. Uh, for sh uh, We have a long break, but but each each day, each training, each game, it's it's useful for us, and we want to, to be improving each day by day. Thank you. Santiago de Trent from Leader Sports Media. Xavi, you got to the end of the temporada. Can you talk a little bit about difficult it is to get to the end of the temporada, and now the team is should I say Spanish, English, or, or English? English. In, in, <laughs> uh, we are getting there. I think that, uh, as I said, we have just been uh, a month, a little bit more than a month, a very competitive calendar we have had. But uh, I have the feeling that we are taking a step forward and we are building something uh, as a team, uh, football-wise as well. We we are trying to uh, to progress. Uh, we haven't had so much time at, at that moment uh, because we had so many games. But now we have a very useful time that it's going to be like a precision. And, and for sure, from there, we want to to start putting the pieces together and to start building uh, a football clear idea of how we want to play, how we want to think about ourselves to be competing in the highest level. Bundesliga is so tough. We are having a Europa League tie against Monaco as well. So we have big challenges ahead, but that's what we want. That's why we are here to compete on the highest. And, and I'm really optimistic. I'm very motivated for, for the coming future. Uh, Gino Binello, uh, 90 men. This next few weeks, obviously, it's an unusual time. Six weeks in the middle of the season. You're just coming in now off of a decent run. You look at this as a positive and negative for the team. Obviously, some players being away, um, but you're getting six weeks now to work with the team who you haven't had much time. No, for sure. I think we are taking it as, as positive. I think that uh, we, I am some of the times we came in the middle of the season, so we, we miss the precision and the precision uh, it's so important when you, you try to establish the basics, when you want to start building the, the main principles of how you want to be as a team. And we are going to have that time. So for us, it's going to be great to have the chance to, to train, to, to, to create a process of, of how we want to reach what we want to reach. For sure, important players that will be fit for for January as well. That at the moment we are missing. So for sure, it's going to be a, a great time for us and being ready for for January. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Olvira. I came from the Medios and Nación. So I have two questions for both of you. Uh, would you imagine a Mexican player soccer in the world? Mexican. Yeah. Absolutely. Why? Why? Because I have seen so many Mexican great players, <laughs> and I am more than happy to have great players. So uh, time will tell, but for sure uh, I would be delighted to have the good ones. Perhaps do you have a name? No. Or no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad I told you. Yeah, someone Carlos Vela. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Uh, Mexican players have a, a rich tradition in history, and uh, there's some fantastic players out there. So, um, you know, Sergio Rivas has Mexican heritage from, from our team right now, so we already have one. Um, young player, uh, doing quite well, played at Washington U down the road. Um, but certainly, you know, I mean, if you are a, a club and you think about great players, certainly that's uh, one place you look for. Thank you so much. Daniel Stead of Fox Two Sports. Question for both of you guys as well. And both of you guys coming into this game with very different perspectives. Unusual World Cup year, six weeks without being able to play. Do you approach this, Chavi, as a as a real match, as something that you're going to throw and have your players play to full extent? And then for you, Coach, 
City 2, obviously, bringing that team off of the season, you guys are headed into the offseason. How do you approach that matchup? Do you take it as almost a final, throw out all your players, or do you still evaluate your talent? Well, from, from our end, we looked at it as this was planned out, and we wanted to bring our City 2 players and to have the opportunity to play against a Bundesliga team like Leverkusen. It's just one of those experiences that uh, is so rare um, and valuable. So think about some of our younger players that are going to get the chance to play tomorrow night. Um, this is going to be a chance for them to really grow, to test themselves against some of the best players in the world, in front of fans with the bright lights on, um, and that's what you need. You know, that's what every player really would want to do, strive to be the best they can be in, in terms of their opponent and having the the crowd and, and everything. So we're looking forward from that regard. I think it's probably a little different for, for them. No, but for sure. Uh, we look forward to to have a good game, to enjoy it, uh, to play with you know football professionals. Once they get their boots, they got into a pitch, they want to compete. They 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 are not friendlies, they want to, to do their best. And for sure, we are expecting that for tomorrow with this all the desire to to enjoy the celebration of coming here and to enjoy the, the experience of coming here. For sure, we have young players as well that they will have the chance to, to play uh, tomorrow. And sure, it's it's going to be an enjoyable one and, and hopefully uh, people will enjoy it and, and the players as well. Victor, nice to have the Striker Soccer News. Um, Xavi, um, with the World Cup just around the corner, um, what uh, memories come to your mind uh, when this tournament comes around? And, and maybe um, is there an advice you'd give to some of your World Cup players as they embark on their journey? Well, uh, last day, uh, on Saturday, uh, we, we said goodbye to four players of us that they were going to Qatar. And, and for sure, you are not going to a, another tournament. You are going to the tournament. And, and for sure, you you will always remember all the minutes that you are spending in, in a World Cup, all the minutes. I told them that any minute can be historic for them. So they need to be ready for whenever they have the chance to play, always to, to know that uh, they can take a big part in, in their own history in, in, in football and, and for sure uh, I have great memories. I, am, I was really lucky to, to, to have good ones and, and hopefully they, they will come bet with great memories but being better players that they will help them and they will help us for sure. Now are you a bit conflicted with Spain and Germany facing off uh, coaching in Germany? Now? Uh, a bit, but not that much. I, I am going with my with my one. I I really, I really like Germany as well. I have a, a great relation with the one with the coach as well. But I'm going with my with my team and pushing from group stage is gonna be a great game and what that what you expect the big the big teams playing against. But nowadays you have to be ready for all the games. Uh, States, they, they have a great chance. Well, well, there are so many teams that always a surprise comes, and we are looking forward to, to the kickoff of the tournament. Tom, Tom Timmerman, still from the Post Dispatch. John, uh, you've been in the stadium a bunch of times, but it's always been empty. What do you think it's going to be like tomorrow night with a, with a full house? <clears throat> and I have another question. Yeah, I think it's going to be electric. I really do. Um, just knowing our fans and how much energy they have brought to watch City 2 games, um, whether that was at SLU or SIUE, like, this is going to be fun, and we should expect a big party. Um, so I think it's going to be loud. I think we're going to, our fans are going to show out in all the right ways, and they're going to celebrate with us. So um, for us as coaches and, and the players and staffs, we just have to stay concentrated on the game. But for sure, you love it when you hear that energy. You know, uh, you feel it, you hear it, you see it. Um, it'll be quite the celebration. And then roster-wise, Klaus, Lubin, Berkey, are they all 
back and likely to play tomorrow? Yeah, I think you'll see all of the players you mentioned. Um, you know, that's again intentional from our part because while we uh, put City 2 together, it gave us a chance to really bring a group of players and get ready for our MLS season. So it's kind of our last preparation game before we do start in the MLS. Um, and those guys are important and, and will feature and, and again, wonderful opportunity for our fans and them uh, to start building their relationships. And Nielsen's still out. Nielsen is still out, unfortunately. Santi. Santiago Altan here at Sports Media. John, can you talk a little bit about what the team has been doing since they came back from the break? I know you guys had some friendlies. How have how had things go for the team and for the players? Yeah, we had uh, three friendlies um, and took those you know, as, as seriously as we could to just try to build uh, our own team and continue putting our principles into play and playing by you know, our methodology. And uh, those have been good. I'm not going to lie, though, it's tough when your season ended on October 8th and you're telling the guys to compete every single day, which we do, um, to stay in it. Uh, but credit to our players because they're really good pros. I've said it a lot, Santiago, this is a good group of men. Uh, they understand how to work together and, and compete. Uh, and that's been, been a good part to be around. So uh, we'll, we'll finish tomorrow night and then look forward to a little time off before we get back at it in early January. Gino Gallo, 90 men. Um, John, has there been, what's been the feeling around training the locker room you touched on it a little bit, but again, such a momentous occasion has things kind of been hyped up a little bit. Are players, you know, feeling the excitement already, and has that shown in training and in the locker room? Yeah, this week in particular, um, you know, again, this is just a fantastic opportunity for us. Um, and we're we're if you'd said we could play an inner squad in the stadium in front of twenty two thousand people, I think we'd be excited. But to do it with Leverkusen, all right it ups the stakes in every possible way. So um, we're gonna try to enjoy it for the most part, but we're also gonna try to compete and have a, uh, a good game and test ourselves. Uh, for John, um, what's it like having, uh, now with the MLS team, uh, having this kind of game, having the World Cup to sort of kick off uh, you know, the first MLS season next year? I think this city, our fan base has been waiting for this for a long time. Um, and so we're finally here, and I think we're all just pretty juiced about it. So um, I think this place will be buzzing, as I referenced before. Uh, and it will be a great kickoff, because I think this community um, within the United States is, from my perspective, the best soccer community uh, in this country. And I think you're going to see that from our fans tomorrow to you know, how many people come out to watch parties for the World Cup. Uh, it's going to be a, a fantastic time. You guys, we got time for two more questions. We'll go to Manuel. Yeah, um, I'm really curious, John. Manuel, I've heard your name come up a few times recently, <laughs> by the way. So, you're I'm real. Really, I thought, I didn't know you were real. No, definitely you know, real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious of, um, of the players that you have in your squad right now, the, the European imports aside. Who do you think has a real good shot at making the, the starting roster when the MLS kicks off in St. Louis next, next year? Well, you know, we, we've announced some guys that we signed already. Uh, Josh Yarrow, mm -hmm. uh, Kyle Hebert. Uh, these kind of guys have know now that they're taking that step from uh, the next pro to the MLS. And, uh, I think they like to, there's a reason that they've done that. They like to challenge themselves. Tomorrow's another example where they'll get challenged uh, by some world-class players and, and they're looking forward to it. And so we have a number of those guys that we're looking to uh, still, this is the final test to see if uh, they're ready to accept that challenge. Feel pretty good about some of those young players um, you know, that look to be important to us moving forward. Maybe to add to that, then how important has the MLS next pro pathway been to really put together a squad that can be competitive next year? Yeah, I've said this a lot. If you look historically at other MLS clubs that have had a little bit of a lead in, mm -hmm. had a team, whether that was in the USL, um, in our case, next pro, 
it's a big advantage. You know, we get to literally for a whole season practice all of the processes, exactly what we want the things to do, build the relationships, work on our uh, tactics and our principles of play. Um, so we feel really good about that because we've done a lot of the hard work already and that will help us uh, come January. Go to Corey and wrap up with Victor. Corey Miller again from KSK. Kind of going off that just a little bit. A lot of local talent in the development teams. How would you characterize how that local talent has been cultivated and what do you think it'll mean when a local St. Louis player steps out for the main club at some point? I hope it happens sooner than later. I think it will. Um, you know, we have a lot of young guys in our academy that have already featured for City Two. A lot you'll see you'll see them tomorrow. Um, but the next Josh Sargent, you know, uh, is not far far away, in my opinion. You know, um, I think it's fantastic that we have two players from St. Louis representing the U.S. in the World Cup, Tim Rain and Josh, obviously. Uh, and just looking forward to see who that next player is that that is able to uh, reach that level. But this is the hotbed of, of soccer in this country. It always has been. Uh, and I think it will continue even more so now that you have this kind of building and, uh, and you'll have young players who nothing inspires development more than getting to see soccer at this level. So I'm excited for that. We'll conclude with Victor. Xavi, you've been on the winning side of the Bundesliga as a player. Um, now on this side as a manager, what are some of the challenges you see and, and maybe some, el some elements you see within your squad to, uh, of those championship teams you were on? It takes time, but for sure, our goals are uh, to be as high as possible. We want to be ambitious. We want to, to compete in the highest levels, and we don't we don't set any limit. Our limit is what we are able to prove each game, and, and from the position that we are right now, we want to to get better. I think that the club as well they have the the project, the perspective to to look forward and to to think big because that's the best way to, to, get, to get improving. And, and for sure, we are, we are building, we are creating project, and it takes time, but, but that's our goal for the future. Thank you. Hey coaches, thank you for your time. Good luck on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.